haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of Bing Civil, a complete civil engineering tutorial channel. Happy learning! Hello everybody, welcome to Bing Civil. In this video, I will show you uh, how to calculate the shear center for channel and angle section. How to find out the position of the shear center. Those who have not seen the basic concept on shear center, this that video, just uh, you will find the link in the description and also top right corner of this video right now. So you see this is a channel section. Uh, this is symmetric about z axis let this is this axis is z and this is y in the previous video i have shown that why the shear center of channel section is not within the section but at a distance somewhere in this direction so to apply load so let's the distance of the application of force is somewhere here so uh, a question may come in you that how you apply a load in this blank so this is nothing but you have to put some member here weld some member and then you can apply load here let we are applying a load p at a distance of ez from here that we are supposing that if we apply a load at an eccentricity of ez then there will be no twisting so for this p the force in the upward direction that is shear force v is certainly equal to p and the shear forces in the flange the summation of shear stresses let fz this is also fz so this uh, moment due to fz <coughs> will not be balanced if the force p is applied here let this distance h so h is nothing but the total depth of the channel minus half into thickness of the flange into 2 that is d minus d minus tf so the uh, moment due to fz is fz into h so this moment is in the clockwise direction to counteract this moment you have to apply a counterclockwise moment that's why we have to give this force and eccentricity if ez equals to zero that is the force p is applying on this uh, plane then this moment will not be balanced so we are supposing that the moment due to p at this ez is balancing this moment so it will be p into ez
P into EZ. So the EZ equals to MZ into H by P. This EZ is the position of shear center on the Z axis. So the position of the shear center is somewhere here. If you apply a load through this point, then there will be no twisting in the channel section. Now come to the angle section here. This angle section is symmetric. This angle section is unsymmetric about both the axes. Let this is Z and this is Y. So this is the so this is the C G. When you apply a load on this channel section, the shear stresses flow like this. So when you think about this force only, this force, then it, in, uh, it is creating moment like this. So to counteract this moment, you have to apply load somewhere at a distance away from the CG in this direction. And to counteract these forces, you have to apply a load somewhere away from the CG in this direction. While you are counteracting the moment of this one, you also have to counteract these forces also. So you think when you uh, so when you applying a load on this only the moment due to this uh, applying moment uh, due, this only this force should be balanced so for this reason you have to apply a load somewhere here through the point uh, through the line of application of these forces and when you considering these forces you have to balance these forces that is you have to apply a force through this point so when both is in so when both the two are in question so point comes here is the intersection point here so for angle section the shear center is nothing but the junction of these two arms that's all friends if you find this video helpful please hit the like button comment your thoughts and subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Happy learning.